Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how to create a title with an animated background generated inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. So let's go ahead and put in our basic title template. On the edit page, open up the effects library, go down to titles, and let's scroll down here to find a fusion title that we like. So if you want to preview any of these titles, just hover over them and scroll from beginning to end to see the animation for these titles. I'll go ahead and drop a horizontal line reveal into the timeline here. Now you're going to need to make sure that this is actually on video track two. So just drag it and move it up to create a video track two. The reason for that is that the background needs to be on video track one. Whatever's on the higher track is going to show on top of the bottom video tracks. So now in order to get our generated background, let's go over to toolbox and generators. And you can come down here to texture background. So if we drag this into video track one, we're going to have this background. So if you take a look at it, it could be pretty cool for this title, but currently it's not animated. So when you select the texture background, the property that you want to change across time in order to add animation to this texture is going to be the seethe. So if you come in here to the inspector, seethe towards the bottom you can drag this in either direction and when you do you'll see that this kind of moves the animation forward a little bit so to create an animation from the seethe property uh, we simply need to set up some keyframes so if we go to frame zero here at the start of where we have our texture background in the horizontal line reveal let's keyframe the seethe here and then i'm going to go all the way to the end where we are done using this texture background and then i'm going to push the seethe value in one direction as much as we want so just note that between the beginning and end of this clip it's going to be animating between these two properties so the further you push the seethe away from the original value the faster it's going to animate uh, between these two values so now if we go to frame zero and hit play you'll see this foggy background is now going to animate another property that you can change for the texture background if when you keyframed it wasn't fast enough for you is the seethe rate if we increase this then that's going to increase the speed of the animation so you don't necessarily need to just keep re-keyframing everything also for this specific one we can go to the gradient and you can change the colors here so you can see on the left side of the gradient we have a blue so if you select the left triangle click on the color selector and change it to a different color. Then now we have a completely different color fog. You can also change the outer color if you want. You can see how the gradient makes it shift towards black by default. Now I would be careful about changing these outer colors too, uh, because that's going to be what's going to fill in all of these extra spaces. So you may just want to leave that as black. Otherwise, if you click on the color selector and change it to something like yellow, it would look more like this. So I'll just go ahead and close that. Also with gradient type, you have other options for changing how this fog is going to look. So uni is there, linear. We'll start with one color and kind of fade down here to the darker color. Reflect, which is the default. You can see that has like two sides from the center. Then some of the other ones you can play around with. Okay, so that's all just one of the texture backgrounds in Resolve. If you look over here to right under texture background, you'll also see that there are other versions of completely different textured backgrounds. So if I click on texture two here, let's go to the start here, hit space, and you'll see it's once again, not animated. So we have to go to controls and you would have to animate the seethe in order to make this texture background do something. So I'll go to frame zero, hit keyframe, go to the end of our clip, give it a different seethe value. Now we can go to frame zero again, hit play, and we can see our animation here occurring from the bottom. So if we go to number three, you can see the defaults for the setup, or whether you want it to be animated or not is up to you. And you can go to frame four, another fog option, number five, all of these vertical lines going down the background. And then for number six, we have a dark center section and at the top at the bottom kind of looks like little stalagmites or stalactites going towards the center of our screen. So just remember that if you want it to be animated, you're gonna need to change the seethe value across time. Technically that's actually half true because really any of these properties for the texture background generator, you could actually animate across time. You just need to keyframe it over there on the right and just make sure that you have two keyframes and that you're changing the value uh, between a starting and ending point. And of course, if you wanna customize it, you can always go over to the gradient tab and there's a bunch of properties here you can play around with. So just go ahead and change everything to your liking. So maybe we don't want those to be gray, but maybe something like a deep red. So that could look cool as well. And then instead of reflect, we could switch this to radial. Maybe I'll increase the offset so that our center title is very visible. And now let's animate this seethe. So I'll go to the start 
keyframe the seeth, go to the end, and let's animate this. Just put in a value of three. Now let's see how that looks. And we can always customize it even while it's playing. So I might lower the offset, go back here, hit play again. And we can also customize it even while it's playing. So I might change some of these values and see how the changes makes everything look. So in a nutshell, that is basically how you can use the texture background generator in order to add a simple animated background to your DaVinci Resolve titles inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. I've been Chris. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my future video content.